Oh, hey y'all. I got my old Massey Harris running here. So the cows needed water and I just thought this was a good old tractor to use to water them. Let's get to it. Man, my wrists sure do look uncomfortable right now. I don't understand what's so wrong with my uh, steering wheel placement there. I'm gonna hook up to our old uh, water tank here. Our pumps broke down for this uh, pin over here. Let's see if this old tractor can pull it. Oh yeah. Looks like it can. It's kind of pulling it hard though. Good use for this little old tractor. I was trying to figure out a good use for it. Go around. Oh yeah. See how high our crops got? It's almost harvest time around here. Open that fence up. All right. Cattle stay in there we can get this uh, get you some water so I don't know what's wrong with these pumps they should be filling this up with water but for whatever reason they aren't working correctly uh, Jim called Jim says that he's gonna need us to haul load here quickly said he has a sweet tractor that he's got down for demo wants us to haul it for him so that looks like we filled that up, so that's good. So we'll take this over here. Hopefully no cows got out. We won't find them in the corn stalks with a big belly. Done that before, harvesting corn and found some uh, dead cattle with humongous bellies in there. We'll pull this back over and fill it up. It'll be prepared for the next day. All right fill that up so Jim called said he needs us to come and help him with uh, he has to haul a new tractor said it's one of a kind I don't know what he's talking about but we'll go see what he's talking about of course we'll get in our GMC here Buck get out of the way don't want to run you over Buck so basically on today's list is to get our harvesters ready. Pretty sure that's what Jim wants us to do also. Gotta get his harvesters ready. I think I have to pick up a head for him. Pull into here and see what he has on store for us. We'll pull on in here. Looks like Jim changed a few things around. Yep, we'll pull right up over here by the applicators. Turn off. Why do I always have to park by his giant truck over here? Oh, the thing makes me mad. Let's see what he needs us to do. All right, Jim is a nervous wreck over there. He says he has a lot to do before uh, harvest and he has nothing done. So first off, he wants us to change the oil on these two Ford 900s. So we'll start doing that. All right, uh, where is the pans at? Oh man, where does he keep all his stuff at? Don't wanna ask Jim, he's a nervous wreck. He'll probably yell at me or something. Uh, I'm gonna open up this uh, door over here. Not really sure why this door's here, but it lets the air flow through. It's about 86 degrees in here with no AC. All right, red truck is done. Now we gotta do the white truck. White truck is done. So let's start both of these girls up. There we go. Get that girl running. And we got this one running. So uh, gonna let the air build up. Gonna make sure there's no leaks. It's primarily thing. Uh, test the gas just to make sure it's clean. Don't want to have any... Oh, uh, I guess I forgot to change the fuel 
filter in the white truck, so I'm going to have to shut that off quickly and change it. Looks like uh, the red truck has uh, extended tanks on it, the white truck doesn't. Let's go change this fuel filter quickly. Alright, so got that change. Start up the white truck again. And we will back up the red truck and hook up the trailer and make it out of here. Jim sure is collecting a lot of stuff around here, that's for sure. He's a major collector lately. So I'm going to hook it up to that black trailer there. There we go. Got that trailer hooked up. All right, so that truck is ready. It says we need the other truck on the low boy. So we'll hook that truck up to the low boy. Shut this door. Hello. Well, we better leave it open. That get all the fumes out of here quickly. Back this up to the low boy for now. Says we need to pick up some type of new grain cart or something. Alright, so we'll shut this off. Now I need to. Now he says I need to get the 95R in there. So he wants to service this thing up and then hook it up to the grain cart here. This thing is a beast. Look how big it is. Just giant. Uh oh, are we gonna get out of here? Ooh, this might be hard. Ooh, are we gonna miss that uh, 83 there? Don't wanna hit Jim's new tractor, that's for sure. Gonna have to back up. Jim, you couldn't put bigger doors on your uh, garage here? Alright, we're basically doing a UE. Right. Just barely didn't miss that. Good thing he has that yellow pole right there. It's called a garage door saver. Alright. That is about perfect. Warmed up the oil and everything, so this stuff should drain nicely. Start that draining, and I'll go find the fuel and oil filters. Wherever they are at, don't know where they're at, okay, put on them, where are these things at, are they on this side, can't see anything with this giant tire in the way, get out of my way giant tire, oh here they are, start changing them, alright, so uh, we will start this up quickly, don't leave it running for long, all right. Now we will top this off with uh, oil. Now that we uh, chain filled up the oil filter. I know, you should fill it up to brim, then put it on, but that's just messy. Don't think it's much use. That's just my personal opinion, though. All right, filled it up with oil. It's topped off. We're at top of the dipstick. All right, so now we are going to back it up. We're going to take it over there to the grain cart, hook that thing up, and yeah, we'll pull that out. There we go. And turn it hard here. Take it slow. Take it slow through the door. All right, so we'll hook this up. I think that's a well. Nope, not close enough. Wish you could see your hitch on this thing. All right, we'll hook that up. All right, so now we will take this out here very easily. Whew. This thing is a beast. Look at that thing, man. This thing will haul some grain there. So, uh, Beams, he has the smallest yard of any 
humongous farmers. We are going to back this up here. There we go. Back that up nicely. There we go. Alright, so now Lexion has to go in. So this is a 70, 760 Lexion. Nice uh, combine, if I have to say so. Alright. So we gotta back this thing up without hitting anything. That's the problem. Apparently, Jim doesn't believe in backup cams. I just don't understand. Maybe it's because he makes me do this all the time. So we're gonna get this thing into the shop here. And we gotta service this thing up, get it ready. This thing will probably be in the shop for a little while because we got to do multiple inspections, make sure bearings are good, make sure tires are good, uh, make sure all the belts are good, make sure the chains are good, make sure it's extra greased, uh, and then uh, make sure nothing's war, make sure we have good compression in our motor, so we'll hook the computer up to it. Uh, what else? We gotta check the sieves to make sure that they are war. Uh, program the the ag leader inside. Whew. Got so much. Oh, we gotta also check all the hydraulic hoses. But first we will drain the oil. Where's that pan at again? Where's that thing at? Well, there we go. Get that thing underneath here. At least they have this dripped all the way to the the floor here. Some I've seen somewhere you had to put it up there, and that's just annoying. So we'll let that drain. We'll find the fuel filters and oil filters. Here we go. Got them. All right. So we got all that. So we will change the oil and fuel filters. They're up here on the engine. All right, so change these. All right, got that changed. Got the oil filters changed. Check and make sure we don't need to blow off. Jim is keeps, keeps his cabs pretty clean there. I said ag leader, that must be on. Or, uh, he has Starfire, so that's not what we need to program. He has the John Deere version on there, so he has Starfires. Alright, so we're done up here. So we'll leave that. We've got a lot more inspections to do on it still. Let's see, what else did he tell us we had to do? Oh. Yep, I remember. He needs us to pick up his head that he purchased. I think Jim would be mad if he sees his truck gone. He wanted me to take that old truck over there. Why would I take that truck when the keys are in this truck? Why? It's a good question. I think I'm just going to take this truck. Ooh, look at that truck. The sounds mean. So we are gonna take this down, go uh, pick us up a brand new head, McDon head that he purchased. I don't know what he did with his other head, but it's not here. So we'll go pick that up quickly and bring that back and inspect that over. So I basically I bought Jim's vehicle because it has better lights on it that's what I was really concerned about didn't want anybody getting hurt so that's what I'm gonna tell Jim when he sees his truck on at least we'll get this old truck going man kind of maybe I should have bought a Ford because this thing is nice I don't know I'd like my Chevy Gotta stay out of the way of these uh, angry drivers. They don't care about us. 
into even though our truck is like twice the size of their vehicle gotta stay in the middle of the lanes there buddy we'll get off see behind us that uh, it's pulling fairly good so it isn't the best type of uh, pull system so basically it's kind of a tricycle trailer so you gotta kind of take it slow you don't want to take it too quickly because you, it will start swaying back and forth you can see behind us I have some impatient drivers you gotta be Millennials can't even take the time for a poor old farmer trying to pull a brand new hit I mean come on Man, I didn't know this. Jim lives right next to a diner. That's smart, Jim. I have no idea where I'm going to put this. If you don't know, Jim's uh, yard is pretty teeny. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to put it right here. Uh, that, that should be good. Man, Jim came out and looked at the head, and I got a butt chewing. He was just like, what is that truck doing on there? And I was like, that's the truck you told me to bring, Jim. He did not think that was an honest answer. Jim is a smart man. But if we look over this head. So this head basically looks pretty good. It'll need uh, basically some grease and all that. We might wait for that until we get into the field. Well, that's a pretty good looking McDonald head if I have to say so myself. So definitely prefer the McDonald heads so I don't have to deal with them uh, header carts and head tying the heads on and everything. This is just way easier. The only thing bad about these you have to calibrate them down there so they float correctly. So that can be a little bit annoying, but not a big deal. So we got the grain cart ready. We got the, the Lexion ready. So now Jim said that we have to go pick up a special surprise for this uh, harvest this year. I have no idea what he means. We are going to take this giant beast really nervous driving down these narrow roads with this uh, big old wide trailer got all the lights on for all of our millennial drivers got the trailer high end here and people are honking at me so rude don't know what to do so we went the back way so hopefully that way we can avoid some of the mean drivers Hello, Lone Oak. Uh, just driving by some beautiful soybeans, I have to say so myself. Uh, a little bit. What is this guy? Sugar beets? What the heck is that guy thinking? Uh, no. Racing down the country roads. Uh, it looks like we are going to have to drive a little bit of hard pavement here. We will look both ways and still get clipped probably. We are good that way and this car is going slow right now. There we go. Looks like we're headed out now. All right, so we finally got that thing turned around. That is not easy at this place, that's for sure. So we'll pull this truck up here, and you have got to see this thing. So we got this giant grain cart, so a J&M on tracks, a 1051. J&M so this is a grain storm so this is a pretty nice cart I have to say so myself 
But the weird thing is, is what the heck is this thing in front of it? I think Jim has gone crazy. Do you think Jim's gone crazy? So I guess this is one of the first ones over stateside. So this is a demo tractor Jim picked up. These tracks are just unreal. So it's a really narrow tractor, so I don't know. I would like it. I think it's still a European style because you would think that American style would make it a little bit more wide, but class is just basically trying to make a footprint here in the States, so brought this over trying to push it up here in Oregon. It's kind of a nice uh, tractor, I have to say so myself. Uh, I don't know if I'm partial to that green, but I kind of like how the rims match the grain cart there. So I don't know how many hours we got of this tractor, but I'm pretty sure Jim bought this uh, grain cart with the equalizer tracks on it. That's cool. So them things flex like every direction, so they really put no footprint down on your fields. Let's see if we can start this girl up. Look inside this thing. Man, it is a, such a watery sound in here. And this thing's quiet. Definitely quiet. Have to say so myself. I don't know. You have to let me know what you guys think. You, should Jim keep this tractor? Or should Jim, Jim uh, just keep the tractors he owns? Or should Jim buy another tractor? I'm guiding him on here. So let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Hopefully we got a... Oh, looks like we're going to have to back up and try again. Got to try to get this uh, straight as possible. There we go. That's en enough. Yeah, looks like we can back it up a little bit. Back this old girl up. Hair. That looks like it'll do. So that definitely unique tractor. I have to say so myself. I don't know. If Jim's gonna keep that thing around or not. All right, so now we gotta back this old girl up on it. All right, make sure we miss that Ford truck there. I don't know about this tractor. I think the grain cart's pretty cool. But I don't know about this tractor. All right, got that thing going out. All right. Man, is that cool or what? Gotta definitely pull this thing wide. Alright, got that thing out there. It was about a uh, 16 point turn we had to do there. That was not pretty. Luckily Jim did not see none of that. I'm really happy. I'm thinking Jim should have been here to... Uh, block traffic for me or something because uh, a little bit nervous somebody's gonna roll up on me here. This thing is wide. Oh man. No cars, no cars. Okay. We are good so far. Man, I'm so nervous that the car might show up here. I don't know what we're gonna do. don't think we can take that lip. As heavy as this thing is weighted down, it's not really wanting to pull it out of it. No car, no car, no car. We don't have any cars coming, so that's good. I don't... It's like the only time ever, I have to say. 
So we'll drive by the John Deere dealership. So I think I'm gonna drive real slow by the John Deere dealership. I think they're looking out the window. I bet they're looking out the window. I bet they don't know what the heck. They're just like, wait a second. You guys beat us. We can't get our 8RX out quick enough. Don't worry, guys. I think I prefer the 8RX. We are just pulling up in here with our brand new JM grain cart with the equalizer tracks and our uh, whatever that thing is over there. You know what that thing is? It's a class. But, uh, we'll have to see how much class it actually has. But we got the header over here. We got everything. So we're going to get this all situated here. But we got this unloaded. So we're going to unhitch this quickly. And then we are going to unload this... Uh, Grain cart for Jim here. There we go. Unhitch that. Ooh, man. Get to drive this uh, tractor one more time. It's kind of weird how you get into this tractor. A little bit different. Buddy seat seems pretty far ahead, but it looks like we might have a. Uh, yep, a little refrigerator back there. Don't think I'll mind driving this uh, grain cart there, Jim, just so you know. So, uh, we will park this right here for now. Looks like uh, Jim wanted to try to see if his head fit on his combine there. Alright, so I'll probably, can I get that, uh, I'll park that, his, uh, little boy way back there in the side. Alright, got both the Fords hooked up to the trailers, and they are serviced. Oh, gotta shut this tractor off for Jim. Man, Jim's got a lot of nice grain carts. I think he might need another track, or combine. Maybe Jim has something in the books, I don't know. But we will head back to our farm there. We gotta get our harvester ready too. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.